Meet Cannon, a classic TV series from 1971 that stars a well-known Hollywood actor. If you're a fan of timeless performances, you're in for a treat. The show is packed with funny, shocking, and even sad moments that will keep you hooked. But here's the twist. Who was your favorite classic Hollywood actor in this series? Maybe it's the gripping storyline or the memorable characters that make this show special for you. Do you have a cherished memory associated with canon? We're curious to know. As you keep watching, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions. The series unfolds with unexpected twists and turns that will leave you wanting more. So, who's your favorite actor, and do you have a cherished memory linked to this TV gem? We'd love to hear your stories and experiences in the comments below. What's your most cherished memory or personal connection to this classic? Share your thoughts and join the conversation. Get ready for a trip down memory lane with canon where funny, shocking, and sad facts come together in one unforgettable series. Keep watching and let us know your stories. In retrospect, I realize I may have underestimated the 1971 TV series canon when it originally aired during my childhood. Back then, the concept of an overweight private detective pursuing criminals seemed unappealing. However, upon revisiting the show through a recent canon DVD set, my perspective underwent a significant shift. It turned out to be more than just a portrayal of an overweight protagonist William Conrad's performance in the lead role was commendable. Two key factors contributed to the show's appeal. Firstly, the writing consistently demonstrated quality, avoiding the pitfall of insulting the viewer's intelligence. Secondly, William Conrad, a skilled and likable actor, elevated the series. Particularly noteworthy was his performance in the season 5 premiere, where the character of Cannon delves into a deeply emotional pursuit to uncover the individual responsible for the tragic murder of his wife and son. For those considering exploring the series, I suggest taking a cue from my experience. Perhaps start with a disc from Netflix, as they currently offer the first season. I found it engaging enough to warrant purchasing the entire set. Admittedly, no show is flawless, and Canon is no exception. Season 5, for instance, included an episode involving aliens or purported contact with extraterrestrial beings, which, frankly, fell flat, earning the label of a rare misstep in an otherwise solid series. In summary, Canon stands out as an excellent program, with William Conrad's compelling portrayal and consistently strong writing driving its appeal. Despite occasional hiccups, the series is worth exploring for those who appreciate a well-crafted detective drama. Canon, the 1971 TV series, almost took a different turn with an animated spin-off named Young Canon. The proposed project, aiming for the 1972-1973 season, was based on the character from the original series. However, despite securing the rights from Quinn Martin, CBS, under Fred Silverman's leadership, didn't greenlight the idea, as revealed in creating the Filmation Generation. For those in the know, 476 3D 359 holds significance as one of his personal phone numbers. It adds a touch of realism to the character, creating an intriguing link between the fictional world and the audience. His evolution into a top private investigator had roots in personal tragedy. Originally a cop, he left the force after the devastating loss of his wife and infant son in a car accident. This mirrored actor Raymond Burr's own life, who adopted a similar narrative to shield his true self. Burr, fearing exposure and societal pressures, crafted a facade much like the character to avoid what he termed a lavender marriage. The character, portrayed by William Conrad, stands out not just for the unconventional detective archetype, but also for the compelling narrative and Conrad's commendable acting. Season 5 showcased his emotional depth in an episode where he passionately pursues justice for the murder of his on-screen family. However, no series is flawless and the show had its share of missteps. The inclusion of an alien-themed episode in Season 5 deviated from its otherwise solid detective drama foundation. In retrospect, diving into the series is a journey worth taking. Conrad's skillful portrayal and the consistently strong writing make it a compelling watch, from personal tragedy to intense investigations, the show weaves a captivating narrative that transcends the typical detective drama. Explore it, starting perhaps with Netflix's offering of the first season, and witness the engaging storytelling that may prompt you to invest in the entire set. Despite occasional detours, it remains a testament to quality television. Canon, the 1971 TV series, left an indelible mark with its distinctive elements. 
The lead character, portrayed by William Conrad, often sported a coral short sleeve shirt and occasionally a bright medium blue one. This sartorial choice not only saved on wardrobe costs, but also made him easily recognizable from week to week. In its initial season, the show adopted a unique format, featuring a short scene before the opening credits, offering viewers a preview of the upcoming hour. However, this approach shifted in the subsequent four seasons, totaling 96 episodes, where the series began without such previews, jumping straight into the opening credits. Viacom, the longtime distributor of the show, later ventured into another project starring William Conrad. The series Jake and the Fat Men enjoyed a successful run, lasting for five seasons. Interestingly, the legacy almost took a different route with an animated spin-off titled Young Cannon. Despite securing rights from Quinn Martin, CBS, under Fred Silverman's leadership, did not greenlight the idea for the 1972-1973 season. This animated venture could have added a unique dimension to the character's narrative. 476 3 359 a personal phone number of significance in the show, added a touch of realism, creating a connection between the fictional world and the audience. The character's evolution from a cop to a top private investigator stemmed from personal tragedy, mirroring the actor Raymond Burr's own life. He, like his character, crafted a facade to shield his true self from societal pressures. Despite occasional missteps, like the alien-themed episode in Season 5, the series stands out as a compelling watch. William Conrad's skillful portrayal, coupled with consistently strong writing, makes it a journey worth taking. From personal tragedy to intense investigations, the show weaves a captivating narrative that transcends typical detective drama. Explore the series, perhaps starting with Netflix's first season offering, and witness engaging storytelling that may prompt you to invest in the entire set. With its fresh take on the detective archetype, it is a testament to quality television. Frank Cannon, the central character in the 1971 TV series, possessed a distinctive trait his affinity for pipe smoking. While prominently featured in the first two seasons, this habit made sporadic appearances in the subsequent seasons before being altogether abandoned. Interestingly, this on-screen preference mirrored the real-life liking of William Conrad, the actor behind the character. One peculiar aspect of his behavior was a laissez fair approach to car security. He routinely left his Lincoln parked with windows fully down and unlocked, inevitably attracting trouble from adversaries who took advantage of this vulnerability. The consequence? The car, and especially the car phone, became frequent targets for vandalism. Adding a touch of realism to the series was the mobile number for the phone in his car 213-191-9 and 221. This seemingly trivial detail created a direct link between the fictional world of the show and the audience, emphasizing the commitment to creating an authentic experience. In summary, his pipe-smoking habit, nonchalant attitude towards car security, and the inclusion of a specific mobile number in the storyline contribute to the show's unique charm and attention to detail. These seemingly mundane elements, when woven into the narrative, provide viewers with a glimpse into the character's idiosyncrasies, making it a show worth exploring for those who appreciate a straightforward yet engaging detective drama.